Welcome to the Disney Villain Art Crawl. This is an extension of an art crawl that we did of the Disney princesses a few months ago. The villain that I have been assigned is the Evil Queen. And I've sketched my Evil Queen out here on a canvas pad. It's a new thing that I'm working on. It has sheets of canvas. I do so many art pieces that buying regular canvases is getting a little costly. So to cut down on costs, I decided to go to these canvas sheets from Dick Blick. It's uh, 10 sheets. This is a 16 by 20. It's real canvas and it's triple primed with acrylic gesso. So you can use it with just about any medium. So I've got my Evil Queen sketched out and let's get started. The thought process behind my Snow White Evil Queen is I had visions of when I was a child, you know, that first Snow White movie, the reading Snow White, the Seven Dwarfs, and the little fairy tale books that your mom and dad used to read you at that time. The Queen was, I still remember it vividly, the purple flowing gown and poison apple color that she wore and the black headdress. All of these things I wanted to incorporate in my piece. Of course I didn't want to do a derivative work that is copyright under Disney. So I am looking at the Evil Queen from my own perspective and things that are from memory from my past as a child, but also true to this day and age. I really love the Evil Queen that was played by Charlize Theron in the Snow White and the Huntsman. So her face is inspired by Charlize's face. So I'm riding along as I usually do that line between whimsical and realism in this piece. I am using a variety of different mediums as I create. I usually go and just grab things at random, whatever hits me at the time. I'm using Beber Castell watercolor pencils, acrylics, watercolor crayons. This part of the painting is one of the most exciting parts to me because I'm trying out the new Tim Holtz Distress Crayons and I absolutely love them. I just scribbled on with the crayon and then I dry brushed to spread out the color and it just it still kept a hint of the design and the texture and I just love not losing that. Here is an interesting take on the piece. Normally you would think that 
the face of the evil queen would be the focal point. However, from an artist's perspective, I really wanted the poison apple to really, really stand out and be the main focal of the piece. So I decided to use Pro Paint for this. These are Matisse Professional Acrylics. When you look at the painting, I think you can definitely tell a difference in the Pro Paint. It just is more vibrant, it stands out more, and it is definitely the look that I was going for. I'm just mixing my colors. The underpainting was raw umber mixed with titanium white for the base. I am mixing burnt umber with Payne's Gray for the darker values as we build the layers. Now I am mixing Cad Yellow, Persian Blue, and an Indian Yellow Hue along with a little bit of white to get the green to start adding a little bit more interest to the piece just applying loosely all over the apple in places where I think it should go. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and playing with it, just having fun, seeing how it goes. After I finished painting the apple, I was left with this yummy paint on the paint palette. So I decided to use that as collage pieces on the canvas. And I really, really, really love how it turned out. I've never done that before. I don't like wasting paint and I usually put collage elements in every piece that I paint. So this was a good compromise.
made my own embellishments for the crown on this queen. What I did is I took my ceramic nesting pots that I use to keep my paint wet so it doesn't dry out and I just put drops of acrylic paint in them, put the lid on and let them dry overnight and then scraped them out the next morning. The way they dry in the ceramic nesting pots somehow makes them look like the perfect little pearls when they're completely dry and I just really like that. enjoyed my version of the evil queen I certainly enjoyed creating her for sure also I want to give a special thanks and shout out to the artists that were involved in this Disney collab each and every one of you have a special place in my heart for sure there's something magical special and wonderful that happens when artists get together and they actually work on the same project together that was certainly the case in this one for sure also, if you have a question on an art supply or anything, please leave it in the comments below. Or if you just want to chat, please leave it in the comments below. For your convenience, click on the i card above and we have created a playlist that has everyone's videos in it for this collab so you can watch them one after the other. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Have a great week.